At our company, we've gotten so many customers and prospects asking us how they can make sure that their custom apps or webhooks are working. Now, interestingly enough, a lot of developers and agencies are building these custom apps and not giving any insight to the customer as to what they built. So hopefully by the end of this video, if you see this error, you can fix this error or at least hire somebody that can fix it for you. When you see this error, it's because a developer has made a custom application inside of your Shopify store. Now I'll go ahead here and click view custom apps and you'll see here this person has four custom apps. So what does that mean for you? How can you get access to this? How can you fix it? Or how can you give somebody access to fix this? Well, there's three components to these private apps that you're going to have to have access to so that somebody can fix it. These three things are one, a code base, two, a server where it's hosted or stored, and three, a Shopify partners account that may host or house this private app. So we're going to go first with the code base. How can you ask for access to the code base? Most of the time, a good developer will have a repository or something in GitHub. So ask your developer, freelancer or agency, can you please send me the code base in a GitHub repository and give me access? It'll look something like this. Now you don't need to know how to code and you don't really need to know how to use GitHub. All you need is a GitHub account so that this person can go inside and give you access. Once you have access from here, you can delegate or share this with someone else. Now, second, what is a server or a host? So this application, this code base is gonna have somewhere where it's stored. Now, where it can be stored is really up to the developer agency or freelancer. We as a company and personally use Heroku just because it's easy to launch applications here and easy to host and maintain for the long term. Others might use something like AWS, but it's important that they give you access to this so that you know where it's stored and you can update it when need to. And then lastly, you're gonna wanna ask for access to Shopify partners. So here's an example of um, Shopify partners. Here is where a developer, an agency or freelancer can make their app. And from here is where we go ahead and publish these apps to you as a private link. Now, this is important because this is where your application lives and this is how it's being installed. If it's crucial to your store, you're going to want to have access to it so that you can fix it when needed. All right, so I'm going to do a quick recap of what we went over. If you're seeing this error in your app store, this means that your private app or an application in your store needs to be updated. This may be a custom app that a freelancer, an agency or developer made in your store. It could be something crucial for your store. Go ahead inside the private app section and see if any of those ring a bell and if it's important to you. Now, you're going to want to ask for three things. These three things are a code base, a server and Shopify partners access. With these three things, you can own the rights to your private apps so you can hire somebody to update it or even update it yourself if you know how to code. Hopefully this helps. I know we have a lot of merchants that are worried about this message. So if you have any questions or comments or need some help, leave them in the comments section below and I'll be happy to help you. I'll see you later.